I want to wear these boots, but uh, I don't know, man. They're too nice for me to want to destroy them. I mean, I put a little bit of dirt on them when I wore them last time, but when I was in the middle of the last job I wore them on, I took them off and put the other ones on. That's how much I love these, but hey, they're work boots, man. Got to use them at some point, but that some point is just not going to be today. Kids, thanks for coming back for yet another week. So we are here on January 21st, and I gotta tell you, it's warm. It is so warm today. Just give me one second. All right, I'm ready. All right, I gotta try and stay in the shade because the wind is gonna get in my mic again. Either way, you guys remember a few weeks ago, I went ahead, cleaned up the front yard, got all the leaves off and everything, been maintaining it, been staying on track with it, and so far it's looking great. But there's one thing that I've been ignoring and I'm gonna go ahead and address it today. girl I know right I just want to apologize about the inconvenience about the backyard man how you doing man I promise your highness we'll get this cleaned up today I'm so sorry this is the worst part right here I got like these uh, these trees we tried to transplant them in summer of 2015 you could see we failed miserably I mean this one kept up but then eventually it started to die so they're both just dead trees sitting here I'm going to try and dig those out later in the year for now. They're, they're just stuck here, man. I hate them. And then, I don't know if I really mentioned this, but we're still in the middle of building a deck here. Like, see this? This is our, our giant deck right here, and it's looking really nice. But we still got our old deck up here that we still need to replace, and we still got all the seasoned wood down here. Just tons and tons of leaves in there. Look at that. And just to give you a clear image of what, I, of what I mean by I've been neglecting the backyard, here's a good way to tell the difference. The one thing I've really been putting off for a while is all the dog <laughs> Like, there's dog <laughs> everywhere. Like, it's crazy. Like, that's really all this backyard is during the winter. It's just a patch of dog <laughs> Like, literally. Because I haven't been back here to clean it up. It's just... It's everywhere. Well, you can see I got a lot to contend with due to the fact that I've been ignoring my backyard for the past couple months, and I just want to apologize for that. But I, I will tell you, I've done a good job keeping the front yard clean because now the front yard is probably going to have less to deal with once spring comes. But either way, the backyard, I got to get that taken care of while I have the chance. Otherwise, I'm going to have some trouble to deal with once spring gets here. So I know what you guys are saying. Let's talk more work. I completely agree with you. Let's get to it. So I guess the first thing I really got to do is I got to get all the dog shit out of the yard. There's tons of it everywhere. So I just got to walk the area in a grid and, you know, just get it out of there, man, because I don't want any of that getting caught in my equipment. You guys who have dogs, you probably understand what I'm talking about. But for any of you who've never had a dog before, trust me, you want to get that dog shit up before you do anything. Otherwise, you're going to regret it later on once you get it on your equipment. If you're a pet owner, you should really stay on top of this, man. Oh. <coughs> oh.
All right, we got all the shit out of the yard so you can see. It's pretty much the same, but let me tell you, that right there, that's about two, three months of neglection, man. That was it. It, just, it took forever. Like I don't know. I had to walk the area up and down, sideways, and all that. I had to make sure that I got everything. Like that's how long it's been. Anyways, just a pro tip for those of you: if you're walking this way toward the sun, make sure that you go back on that same pass again, facing this way, right? The backlight, right? Because the so with the sun, it kind of distracts you, and you're able to miss the the easily. When you're walking this way, right, you're able to see everything that stands out in the yard. Like, if you're walking this way, you're not going to be able to see any of the leaves that are sitting there. But if you turn this way, you'll be able to see them a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I zoom in a little bit, right, you can see them. They're just standing there, and they, they just stand out. But again, when you're looking that way, you can't really see anything. So even if you're 100% sure you got everything, make sure that you go back and check again in the opposite so that when you're in here using your equipment later you don't have to deal with anything getting on your wheel. Now again, you're not going to be able to get 100% of everything in there, I understand, because I have that same problem that's maybe hidden underneath all the leaves and stuff. I might get some on my equipment. Just, if you can, try and get as much as you can out of the lawn. We don't want to deal with it as we go on through the rest of the steps we're doing here. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the blower and we're going to blow out the edges like, you know, along the fence where you would typically string trap. What I want to do is I want to take the blower and I kind of want to go ahead and blow out the edges. When I go back in there and rake the leaves in a minute, I'll just be able to rake them out. I won't have to get too deep into the edges. So next what we got to do is we got to get all this raked up. Well, the reason we got to do that is because there's a lot of long, lanky grass in here. I know that because I haven't cut this in about two months. You can even see when you look down, right? There's the grass right there, and it looks a little laid over. And plus some of that comes from the snow and all the foot traffic I get here from my dogs having to go out every day. So we want to rake it up so that when we bring the mower out here, it'll chop everything down. If we have all the grass blades laying down, the lawnmower blade will probably miss it. So if we have them standing up straight, it'll be easier for the mower to just go through the first time, whack it all down, and then just shave this down to the height that we want it. Which in this case, we're going to go down super short because we are in the middle of January. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab the rake that I've showed you guys in some of the previous videos I've done. If you want, I'll leave a link below to this rake. I highly recommend it. It's the best rake for these kinds of jobs. But either way, what you're going to do, right, is we're going to come with the rake all around to the big piles we've just blown out and we're just going to rake them into a bigger pile get a tarp rake them into a tarp and we're done and then we're going to finish off by giving this a nice cut
So let me give you a quick comparison of what it looks like after being raked right here and what it looks like when it's not raked. So I've talked about this in previous videos, but look at this. So this ground right here, you might bring a mower across it and then it'll still look short and you'll be like, all right, I'm done. But really what you're not realizing is that all of this is really this. Now what I mean by that is after you go through and rake this up, you'll realize you got a lot more to contend with before you say you're done. So single cutting your lawn could possibly turn into a double cut in order to get it as short as you want it without leaving any layover in order to get it set for next spring. So you just got to make sure that you rake it up. It's a good way to double check and make sure that go across the lawn with the mower. You're able to chop everything down. There's nothing left laying over. And then once springtime comes, there will be nothing in the way for all the new grass blades that are going to be germinating once spring comes. So this is really a good way to encourage natural thickness is by raking it up because all that thatch and build up from all the years before that can kind of slow the growth rate and thickness rate down. So if we're able to get all that out of there, that should speed it up a little bit. All right, so it's 11 a.m. and it's Sunday morning, the day after I did everything. And I got to tell you, it's a little bit colder today. It's kind of sucked. Had to keep the sweatshirt on. But either way, let's take a look at how it looks. Because when I was actually working last night, it got too dark. I wasn't really able to see. So let's go take a look. Oh, wow. Look at that. See that? Looking great. No leaves, nothing. Just, uh, look at that ground, man. I mean, we have a little bit of layover in here. That's okay. I mean, I didn't expect for it to be perfect because it's a little wet over here from the pool and all that right here, but that's okay. And another thing you can tell is the absence of dog. It's all gone. Look at the nice stripe pattern. Look at the absence of leaves. And definitely look at this right here, right under the deck. This used to be a mess. We used to have stuff everywhere. Got it all cleaned up, and I really want to get rid of this, but I don't know. I think Dad wants to keep for something. I'm not really sure, but it looks really nice here. Look, I fixed all the wood up. Wood's nice and stacked, and especially over here where these dead arborvitae trees are. <laughs> I, I don't know. Was I pronouncing that right? Arborvitae. But look, this is where the dead trees are. I'm going to rip those out later in the year, like I mentioned earlier, but look at the absence of leaves. I mean, we got a few in there overnight, but really, there used to be a whole pile of them here just before... You couldn't even see the ground. That's how big they were. I got to do a little bit of uh, cleanup today in the front yard because as you can see over there, got a little bit of leaf cover up there. So I got to clean the front yard up and then that way we're 100% perfect. And I also got a little load to clean up right here. No big deal. I should be able to get that done today. Easy peasy. So just in case you didn't catch it, I'll go ahead and put the before and afters up. Yeah. 